Now, there is a place in the city that's uh, kind of abandoned, kind of left to its own device, and then all of a sudden it seemed like it would be taken over by some football team from New Jersey. Anyway, apparently there is still a plan there, and Michael Samuelian is going to tell us a little bit about what's going to happen with uh, Hudson Yards. And please welcome Michael, who is a VP of Planning and Design at Related and also Assistant Professor at Cooper Union. Uh, well, thank you, Manuel. I'm glad you started uh, talking about another developer and how they build big and ugly things because um, that's kind of what we do. <laughs> kidding, kidding, it's beautiful. Uh, so, Hudson Yards, 26 acres. 13 million square feet in Midtown Manhattan was uh, and is the current rail yard for the MTA uh, Long Island Railroad. And in uh, 2008, we won an RFP to develop this. And one of the things that I want you all to think about as urban designers, or people interested in urban designers, is that as a public, we have decided to give this to a developer uh, to design, as opposed to Battery Park City, where a public agency actually did it. But you're going to have now a private developer, and we'll do a great job, trust me. Uh, we're going to develop the center of Manhattan. This is a site which is unlike any other with the best regional access um, anywhere in the city. Connections to Penn, Cent Penn Station, Grand Central, Port Authority Bus Terminal, and really the center of the region, what we see as the future of Manhattan. 40 million square feet is being developed in Hudson Yards, of which we're about 12 billion of it, or about roughly a quarter of it. And the centerpiece of it is really the number seven, 2.1 billion dollars of public funding, um, which is actually a TIF. Uh, derived in the area, dedicated to building a new subway station, one stop, from Times Square to my front door. Which is great. Uh, <laughs> but it's all in the sense of creating economic development, so creating this new center, because what Dan Dockroff saw when he looked across um, the Hudson River was all this development was happening in New Jersey and not happening in Manhattan. So how do you create you know, the hole in the donut? How do you fill the fact that the West Side has all these great neighborhoods? It's really the new Gold Coast and Hudson Yards is going to be the centerpiece of that, the kind of missing linchpin, linchpin that will connect all of this. And there's already been extraordinary development that's happening there already. 10,000 units of housing built in the last five years, 38 projects under development or construction, over 12 million square feet planned. That's a beat aside from mine. And it is an extraordinary place if you actually go there. I'm sure many of you have been to the High Line or other places on the west side. It's really the new center of the city. It's an old industrial area that has been... Uh, renovated to become a new center, um, growing at twice the rate of Manhattan, a highly affluent and educated demographic, which we love. It's the people that we want to live and shop in our developments. And if you look at some of the numbers down at the bottom, the types of people that are moving there are exactly the types of people that are um, the, the people that we want, of course. It's all of you, right? Um, and an important piece of that, of course, is the High Line. And my best friend of me, Peter Mullen, is coming out here and he's going to talk about it. But the Highland has, we're the northern anchor of it. You basically have the Whitney at the southern end and you have Hudson Yards at the northern end. It's exactly where you want to go as you're walking up the High Line and it's where you're going to get a shop and you're going to live and you're going to hopefully love it. There's also an amazing development that's happening right in our area. The Javits Center, $460 million of new development, Moynihan Station, Manhattan West, and we're at, kind of at the center, really the anchor of what will become really the, the hub of Midtown Manhattan as it moves west, and we're just really the kickoff of what will be an extraordinary new neighborhood. And what I want you to think about is how we, I'm an urban designer, I think, and uh, <laughs> think about how we lever urban design to create value. We do it through open space, we do it through amenities, and the open space is really the central part of uh, our plan. Not only the High Line, but people forget about Hudson River Park, an extraordinary place uh, which has been developed over 12 years. And we've developed the open space plan and a master plan, which is about half commercial, half residential, really centered on half of our plan needs to be public open space. Now granted, we own it, so we control it, so it's different than normal public open space, but the city said basically half of it needs to be open, which is great, and which means we can program it and make it into something really extraordinary, surrounded by these things which are uh, 5,000 residences where I hope you all love to live there. Uh, you, we have rentals, you don't have to buy. Uh, and they just kind of blend into the fabric. I mean, I think kind of really don't have to say much. A five-star hotel where you're all going to go for your drinks and where your parents are going to stay when they come and visit you. You get massages. That uh, picture on the upper left with extraordinary views over our public private parks. Uh, 
banquet where you're all going to get married and kind of meet your loved ones and have your children go up. And it's going to be the centerpiece of where the public space goes. This is part of the uh, new public space that we're building, the hotels on the right. The new $2.1 billion gift from the Mayor Bloomberg is on the bottom center. That's number seven. We have an extraordinary building, about five and a half million square feet of office space uh, on the left that is anchored by a million square feet of retail where everyone will shop. <laughs> but really the centerpiece of it is culture. That's what we're about. The culture shed is a public <laughs> facility which is built on the southern portion of the site. And the building actually moves. I'm not kidding. It moves out and it grows. But in all seriousness, it is something we really like, which is that you don't need a diversity of uses. You can't just have shopping and living. And it's actually a pretty extraordinary building designed by Dillard Scafidio, which will modeled on the Grand Palais in Paris. Those are actually people down there on the lower left. It's a 55,000 square foot single span building, which moves over the plaza, uh, and it can host an uh, extraordinary number of events that will be kind of a linchpin of the public open space. But what's most important is the retail. <laughs> uh, modeled on the success of the Time Warner Center, where hopefully you've all been many times, which is doing extremely well for us, but three times the size. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, Borders is leaving, by the way. Uh, but there's commercial office space as well, towering above it, connected into the retail, four and a half million square feet, so basically two of the Bank of America, America buildings. This building is twice the size of Time Warner Center in total, five and a half million square feet for those architects in the room, that's pretty big. But it's extraordinary space, column-free, floor-to-ceiling glass, and it, what happens underground is actually most important. That modeled on uh, Canary Wharf, where there's extraordinary underground system, we're building a private trench of utilities that will be connected to a cogeneration plant. So all of the facilities will be tied in underground, above the train yards, but below our building. So we are able to provide uninterrupted power for any type of tenant or our own private utilities, even a waste system. But it's really about the neighborhood, because that's what we love. And views of the small, low-scale neighborhood around us from your towering staff. <laughs> Just seeing all the beauty of Manhattan and everything that 